All right, gotta get pumped up for this one. Whoa! Little Ronnie Coleman? Yeah, buddy! Come on, let's be fired up! Hey, man, your little Ronnie's hanging out. Man, don't worry about that, we got in the game. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, buddy! Sorry, bro, but it's leg day. Yeah, buddy. Extreme Energy Pre-Workout Powder by Ronnie Coleman. Take a scoop and let your inner Ronnie out. to another show like next week and uh this one was called metroplex remember like it was yesterday it was uh april 14 1990 it was here at uh uta campus uh name of the show was the metroplex classic and the guy that was teaching me how to pose was uh, promoting this show and this was my uh, first level, uh, this was my first NPC show. And this was back in the day where they had level level one, two, and three and all that kind of stuff. And I think I think the higher the level, the more advanced you were. It's like open novice pretty much. I think level one was uh, like for the novice class. I consider myself still being a novice because the last show that I won, it was uh, a AU. All right, thank you. All right, All right you too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling some stories. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, mommy was there earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember she brought that chick in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just run our act just to make sure it's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you too. Anyway, this show was, uh, Called the Metro Metroplex Classic. It was by the same guy who uh, put on that uh, other show. Well, no, it was by the, it was by the guy who was uh, teaching me how to pose. His name was Marvin. Anyway, uh, this had already uh, competed at novice at the other show, and it was AU. I went novice at this show also, and uh, this show I weighed pretty much the same thing I weighed. This was just the next week I had one after, after I won in Mr. Texas. The first the other show was April the 7th. This was April the 14th. So uh, what happened was uh, I had the novice, and again, I won the, uh, how about that, man? Again, I had won the uh, uh, novice class at this show. And then, uh, of course, they have an overall on I pretty much won the overall in this show too. It was pretty much my second show. Like I said, I remember, like it did, uh, uh, like it was yesterday. I even remember what I posed on. I think it was something by uh, Tom, uh, Tom Low. I can't remember whether it was a. Uh, uh, I don't think it was Wild Thing. I can't remember if it was Wild Thing or Funky Cold but then it was either one of the two. But I know it was a song by Tom Low. Anyway, uh, after I won the, after I won the uh, overall in this show, my next show was called a DFW Classic. It was supposed to be some like drug tested show. Uh, I don't really, I don't even think I took, really took it that serious because it was another AAU show. Of course, it was kind of a smaller show because it was held at the uh, naval base over there in, in Dallas. Anyway, I went in that show and pretty much cleaned up again, got first and overall in, in the, um, I think it was open. It was my first time going open. I got uh, first and overall in, in the uh, Atal class again, cause I said back in them days, they didn't have like <clears throat> uh, weight classes in the AAU. And uh, that show was probably about, that was in April, that was in uh, like May, it was like a month later or whatever. Uh, by this time I was getting pretty good, uh, pretty decent at, uh, at all the posing and stuff and I was still going with Morris and I was still learning how to pose. Anyway, the uh, next show I entered was called uh, uh, Western Cup. And it was uh, in, uh, what was this show? It was in 
El Paso, Texas. And El Paso from here is like eight, nine hours away. So anyway, this, I had to fly there and I'll never forget it because it was my, my first time having to fly to a show. So I didn't really know how to, you know, do all the water and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I went up to this show and I thought I was going to get first again, but somehow or another I ended up placing the second this show. But this was a, a national qualifier show. And it's still my first year in bodybuilding. I played second. I, I, was, I wasn't too upset with it, even though I thought I, I was going to probably play second again. Like I said, I could have been holding water from the flight or something. So here I am, uh, my first year in bodybuilding. And I'm nationally qualified, so the only thing left to do is to go to the national. So, the first year at the national, you know, I, I really didn't know how I was going to do. But I just went just because I was qualified. I didn't, I didn't know too much about nationals and all that kind of stuff. I didn't know it was a big show, and that was a, like one of the biggest shows they had out there. I was just bodybuilding, just be bodybuilding just for this free membership I was getting. Anyway, I went to the Nationals, then California. Again, you know, I think it went like maybe a couple days early. I didn't know too much about the about the water on the flight and stuff, but for some reason or another, I think going a couple days early kind of helped me out a lot. But once I got there, you know, I probably had about, about 35, 40 guys in the class. It was a pretty big class. I still remember one overall. That was one by um, Alky Gurley. Uh, anyway, uh, I ended up getting third in the national. This, like I said, this is my very first show. And uh, I didn't know at the time, you know, it was, it was cool with me. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm just doing this for a free membership. I ain't thinking about going pro or nothing like that. I didn't even know that you can go pro from winning that show because I didn't know too much about, like I said, bodybuilding. Anyway, uh, I went on and next year, 1991, I, I, I didn't really compete in too many shows. I was still uh, working full time for the police department. I didn't really have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff back in those days. And I was still learning how to uh, work the streets at the police department. So I really couldn't do too much as far as taking off and all this kind of stuff. They didn't give us, well they gave us about five weeks of vacation a year, but when you train and you're still trying to trying to learn all you can learn and you're going through a process of getting all these step rates and stuff. You try to stay there as much as possible. So I think that next year I only did like two shows. I did uh, <laughs> I did the USA which was in July and uh, this time I kind of didn't do as well as I did the year before at the, at the National. I ended up in 14. I didn't even go back for the night show. I was so upset because I didn't really get called out nothing, so I knew I wasn't doing that good. So I just went down there and just called myself having a little fun or whatever. I think the National that year was in, uh, I want to say October. Like October the 15th, something like that. And it was in uh, Pittsburgh. I think it's, it's called Soldiers and Sailors. Hall, and I think it's Jim Man have his uh, stage show every year. Anyway, I will never forget it. it, it, it back in those days, uh, to qualify for the universe, uh, you just whoever thought they could pass the drug test to go. Now, the universe, they got their own show that just drug testing. I remember this show real well because I <laughs> I was the only heavyweight that showed up to take the drug test. It was, it was pretty thorough. It was, you had a, it was a urine test and uh, I, don't, I can't remember not what they did uh, polygraph, but I don't think they did. Anyway, I, I placed fourth in the Nationals and that year uh, Kevin got first, uh, Flex got second, and uh, Paul DeMeo got third. So I was fourth behind, I was fourth behind him. Chris was in the show too. He ended up somewhere in six. I think he was six or seven. I think he was trying to do the, uh, trying to do the universe, but <laughs> after I uh, got fourth and went over there and took the test, he didn't even bother to show up. So I went over there and took the uh, urine test and, and uh, I pretty much passed it, because I think they gave me results probably about, 
think it was either two or three days or something like that. Anyway, uh, they come calling me probably like that Monday. The show was on Saturday and they told me I passed and, and I'll qualify for the universe. <laughs> this, this, this universe show was gonna be in, uh, it was in Poland. It's called Kato, Katowice, Poland, something like that. Katowice, Poland, something like that. Anyway, uh, I had to go get a passport like real quick because I never had a passport before and I didn't know about how to go and get one. And somebody just told me you had to do like next day air to Houston and you know they next day air it back to you so you had to send a self-addressed self, self, uh, uh, envelope for them to next day air it back to me. So uh, I went ahead and did that and I think I got my passport about two weeks. And uh, I had three weeks to get it, so I got it like a week before we left for uh, Poland, because I think the show was in like November, like November the 7th, 8th, something like that. Could have been later, I can't remember exactly. Anyway, this was my first time uh, going anywhere internationally, and I had no idea what I was up against. I'll never forget this. I had to take a lot of food with me because I didn't have a, I have a way of keeping it. I didn't know about keeping it frozen and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I think I took enough food, maybe just to eat uh, on the way down there. And uh, when we got to Poland, we had to take like a five hour bus ride to the show. So this was a lot of traveling. It took about, I don't know, 10 hours to get there. And then we had to take a five hour bus ride to the show. I remember <laughs> getting on the bus, I had a can of tuna. That was all I had left to eat with me on that, on that on that bus ride, I think I had can open and all that kind of stuff. So I, that was the only thing I had to eat until I got to the hotel. And when I got to the hotel, I was in for the shock of my life because they had no meat whatsoever in Poland at this time. It was real poor country and all they had was like rice and uh, cold cuts. <laughs> and these were the worst cold cuts you ever seen in your life. I mean, they were horrible. It wasn't like bologna, it was some weird Polish cold cut. And you know, <laughs> we didn't, I, I, we didn't, I, I didn't want to have no part whatsoever of <laughs> eating them cold cuts. So all we had over there was some rice. And I'll never forget it, this other guy, his name is uh, Ron Coleman, Ronald Coleman or something like that, same as mine, some people, get us mixed up from time to time. We were rooming together and his wife had froze some chicken. And man, <laughs> I don't know how, but that was a lifesaver because he was feeding everybody. And I think if his wife wouldn't have froze that chicken, we would have all been in trouble. But anyway, we were eating frozen chicken and pancakes because she had somehow or another cooked, uh, gave us some pancakes for the show. We were eating chicken and pancakes for the contest. Anyway, so like in two days, uh, I was in the heavyweight class. I never forget it. I had lost so much weight, but I was still in half decent shape enough to win the show. So I weighed in probably like, uh, it was like 88 kilos. Probably about 180, uh, 190, what, about 190, 195 pounds, 185. It was whatever it was, kind of low. It was, Anyway, it, it was good enough for me to win. I ended up winning. We won the team competition and all that because they have a team pose down. And that's how I turned pro. Pretty much I went in the, the, uh, the 91 Miss Universe. <laughs> but I'll never forget. I, the thing I'll never forget about that show is it was freezing there. There was no food. And uh, the night before the show, I never forget, they come knocking on my door at like one o'clock in the morning and said, we need to take, we need, we need, we need you to take this drug test. I'm like, what, take a drug test? I already took one. Like, no, we need you to take another one. So, I remember early in the day, they had us all in this big old gym and I guess they had the guys, pick out the guys who, who they thought were on drugs and they came and knocked on their door like at one o'clock in the morning when you thought you were going to bed for the night before the show. And they gonna test you right then and now. Anyway, I took the test and of course I passed because I I got my pro card and everything. And that's pretty much how I became a pro. From uh, 
for my free membership to the gym. I got plenty more to say about the topic, the way I profit. I just went into the store and then I bought it. Yeah, you know, got it for the very low. All them new additions I've been putting on the payroll. All this. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah.